What's up guys, it's Toasty here today. So, I know it's been a very long time since the last video, but I've just, I've had a lot of personal things to be dealing with, and I've had to be, I've had to like sort out my house and etc, etc. And also this new update has taken forever to download because for some reason my Wi-Fi has been absolutely terrible. It's taken me like four days to download it. So yeah, I really hope you guys have been doing well and everything. And yeah, so I just wanted to remind you guys that I'm still doing the giveaways. So just hit the subscribe button down below to enter the giveaway that I'm doing. The giveaway is going to be for 1,100 card points. You can use this for whatever you want. And yeah, so today I'm going to be going into the x16 class setup as well as some tips and tricks on what you can do so let's get into the video guys so the x16 is one of my favorite pistols most people don't like it for some reason but i was actually a really big fan of it and yeah so let's get into the setup so the setup that I use is mostly for aim down sight speed because I play in a hardcore so you can get your sights up as quickly as possible and get that kill because with most of the pistols it's going to be a one shot anyway so yeah. So I use the Syngard Arms Featherweight for the aim down sight speed and it does reduce your bullet velocity a little bit but that's not really an issue to me personally. The laser, for the laser I use the attack laser for the aim down sight speed. For the optic, I don't like the iron sights on the pistols in the game, so most of the times I do use an optic. And yeah, it just helps me out a lot. For the ammunition, I use 26 round magazine. It's not really necessary, but I just like having a bigger ammo pool in case I wanted it or needed it. For the trigger, I use the lightweight trigger. So basically so I can shoot quicker and it really helps out especially if you have a quick trigger finger. So let's get into the camos. For spray paint, it's just get kills. It's simple. All you have to do is just kill enemies. This is a passive one so you don't have to go for that actively. Next one is kill enemies with headshots. If you're playing in core, I would really recommend that you... That you, like... I, I don't know, it's a preference thing but... I noticed in core it's easier to get the headshots because you just let the pistol recoil up to the head then sometimes you'll get the final bullet in the head but with hardcore it's obviously a one shot kill so just aim a little bit up and you'll be all good. For digital it's get kills while crouching. This one can be tricky because it's annoying crouch, crouching around the map and yeah but basically just crouch walk around the map and kill people. In hardcore people are running around like frantic they're trying to kill you so just crouch down and get kills that's all the advice i can give for dragon it's get hip fire kills so this one's pretty simple especially if you have a small map like shipment then those hip fire kills are going to go by so quickly especially if you're playing hardcore but if you choose to play in core i would recommend that you just slap on the akimbo and well the akimbo attachments then you're basically always going to be hip firing so that's how i did these quicker than um most other people because i did it with the kimbo and core for splinter it's get long shots the pistol long shot range is really small so it's really not that not that necessary but playing hardcore and most of the time it will be a one shot kill if not it's a two shot kill which is very simple because this, it does shoot very fast but as long as you have a quick trigger finger for topo we have get double kills this one is one that's not too nice to do especially if you find yourself in a week where the playlist are larger maps but you know if you just rush around a lot of enemies run together so just basically kill them both and then you get a double kill for targa it's get kills while you're going to using all attachments just fill up your attachment slots simple easy for straps it's get kills shortly after reloading so basically take the extended mags off put on sleights of hand and just before you run into an area where you think an enemy is shoot once reload by the time you reload it go around the corner or whatever and kill them that's how i did these and yeah that's made them a lot easier to do 
for reptile we have get kills while guns using no attachments so what i like to do is obviously if you're playing in hardcore it's going to be a one shot kill so what you do is you take off all the attachments and then you go for the other challenges so um it makes it a little bit harder for straps but you know you're going to be finishing two at the same time so yeah next we have skulls which has killed three enemies without dying this has always been the worst one for me because it feels as if you'll kill two enemies and you'll die like unnecessarily and it's just it's quite tedious and annoying so what i can recommend that you do is basically just play a bit more reserved and a bit more campy and through doing that you'll kind of wait for people to come to you just slowly push up and through that you'll most probably get three kills without dying and if you even a little bit decent it really won't be a problem for you to be rushing up and especially in hardcore because you kill so quickly so yeah um that's it for the video guys i'm so sorry about being gone for so long but you know i've had a lot of things to be dealing with but don't worry i'm going to be back to the usual upload schedule where every three days i upload so please just stay tuned for that and remember to subscribe i really appreciate the support and also you enter the giveaway so yeah thanks guys it's been toasty